so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things related to golf wing and streetwear in today's video we are going to be looking at a brand new golf wing chuck taylor leaf this is the third golf wing chuck that we have seen in a popular golf wing pattern the first shoe of this kind that we saw was the golf wing flame chuck that dropped back in 2019 and i'm pretty sure this shoe is technically branded as golf la fleur along with the other collaborations golf has done with converse in the past but the flame print is pretty synonymous to golf wang and it really fits into this trio of golf wing pattern chuck taylor's so that's just what i'm going to group it with the second shoe of this kind we saw drop earlier this year and it was dubbed the tri panel and it came in the same colorway as a jacket that dropped the year before and this shoe was actually the first time we saw a branded golf wank and converse collaboration so it's technically the first shoe of its kind pretty much all other converse collabs up until this point was dubbed as golf with fleur so just something interesting to note about that and if we do get to see this next shoe i'm pretty sure it's going to be dubbed as golf wank as well and just recently golf wing report is posted on their instagram which will be linked down in the bio below along with my personal so you can give us both a follow if you would like of a brand new golf wing collaboration shoe and pulling up a picture of the shoe here we see that it is designed with the iconic polka dot print and the first thing i picked up on when i looked at these shoes was actually the colorway because this features the blue denim background instead of the cream background which is more commonly used for the polka dot print the only time we ever saw this colorway used was on a jacket that didn't even come out it was the first golf wing polka dot denim jacket that we saw back in 2016 around the time of the fashion show so very interesting to me that they decided to use this colorway on the shoe when just in the most recent Levi's collab they actually used the cream background and I did personally like the Levi's collaboration and I actually picked the jacket up but a lot of fans pointed out that they would have preferred to see the unreleased colorway of this jacket rather than with the cream background but I think the fans especially those who were into earlier golf wing would have loved it a lot more if it would have featured that denim and maybe this is completely speculation so this may not end up being true but maybe just maybe we might see some iteration of this jacket drop alongside the chucks since it is coming in this denim colorway but who knows if I would have been told that a golf wing uh, polka dot Chuck Taylor was coming out, I would have almost guaranteed that it would have been in like the cream colorway. So seeing this shoe in this colorway really did throw me for a loop. Looking a bit more closely at the shoe, it's once again printed on a Chuck 70, which in my opinion and pretty much everybody's opinion, it's a lot better shoe than the regular Chuck Taylors. It's got a better build and it's way higher quality. So really happy to see that once again. I seriously doubt we'll ever see any of these collabs be done on a regular Chuck, but I still personally love the Chuck 70. So it's always something I look for when I see these leaks. Another thing to point out is the box they pictured these on top of features the same branding and colors as the tri-panel box that dropped earlier this year. Whether this is just like a box that they set the polka dot chucks on top of for the pictures or if the shoe actually comes in this box, I have no idea. And I know this is such a first world like dumb complaint to make, but something I've always loved is when the box is in the same colorway or a similar colorway as the shoes that they come in. I think it adds a lot to the overall unboxing experience and I think it's the little details, especially in the streetwear scene that go a long way. And I don't want to make it seem like if the shoes come in this box it's going to be like the end of the world or something because it's really not a huge deal i think if you want to have one box for all the collabs like across the board it should be redesigned to be a bit more simple and shouldn't be too reminiscent of any of the other past shoes we don't even know if the shoes are going to come in this box or not or even if they're going to come out so we'll just have to wait and see i'm not going to harp too much on that my overall thoughts on these guys i think i actually like i kind of like them my favorite chuck that features a golf pattern is easily the flame chucks that dropped last year but i think i like these better than the last collab that they did i definitely will not be copying these because I picked up the last golf wing chucks, like I said, and I still am yet to wear them because my wardrobe has just moved in such a different direction that I don't have like hardly anything I can really wear it with. But for some people who are really into patterns and louder fits, or if you're a big fan of older golf, I'm sure that specific demographic is actually really going to enjoy these. As always, when we get a little bit more information on these shoes, I will make an updated video talking about the collaboration more in depth. Comment below and let me know your opinions on these shoes, guys. Did you love them? Did you hate them? If you like this kind of content and you would like to see more, definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of golf and streetwear content coming moving forward. That'll do for this video, guys. Thanks so much for checking this out, and I'll see you in the next one.